Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Today, I'm doing a spring vegetable chicken pot pie. We're going to be adding a little bit extra spring veg into this chicken pot pie. Let's get started. First things first, let's gather our ingredients. You are going to need about two pounds chicken thighs. You're going to need some peas, frozen, fresh, what have you. You're going to need some pie crusts, homemade or store-bought. I'm using store-bought because I don't have time to make them at home today. I think homemade are 10 times better, but in a pinch, store bought are fine too. Make your life easy. Some butter, unsalted, an egg, some heavy cream, got four carrots, some asparagus, some leeks, you got two of these, a couple of lemons, some tomato paste, some parsley, and a little bit of flour. You're also going to need a little bit of chicken broth here. You're also gonna need some garlic. And I like a little secret ingredient, some Worcestershire sauce. Now you can sub soy sauce if you want. I can't have soy, so I'm using Worcestershire. It's just gonna add a little bit of extra meatiness. So now that we've gathered all our ingredients, plus flour, let's get started. First things first, I'm doing it in my rectangular shaped Dutch oven. This is where I'm making the pie. But you can use a round one, that's fine. You're gonna want to invert the lid and you see within this rim, you're gonna wanna cut essentially a piece of parchment to fit this. When you bake it, you're gonna bake the lid inverted on top of the Dutch oven. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do something a little different because I have this mold, this outline. I'm gonna try and get this on trapped in carbonite. So I am going to take my pie doughs. I got two of them here. I'm just gonna unroll them, double them up, roll it out, and I'm gonna get it on top of this pan, and then I'm gonna refrigerate it. What I like to do is these little wrinkly ends over here, I like to double it up. All right, I'm just gonna roll this into a nice even layer here. I might actually double things up. Yeah, yeah. You, you only will probably need one. I'm using two. Dust with flour if you need to. So again, if you are doing this at home, put it on parchment and you put it on the underside of the lid. I am not. I'm gonna be doing this little tricky bit over here. First, I'm gonna spray this guy down. I really hope this works. I really hope this works. Well, I'm just going to kind of press in here. Also just gonna trim a little bit of excess here. They want it to be able to fit into my pot. Now I'm gonna pop this into the fridge. I'm gonna cool, I'll do the rest of the chicken pot pie so it's pretty firm. You want to adjust your oven rack to the lower middle position, heat your oven to 400 degrees, and then we're gonna build it on the stove top and we're gonna finish in the oven. So I've got uh, two leeks, good size leeks here. Pound and a half to two pounds before trim. Just trim these up, cut them, wash them. Spring vegetable pot pie here. So leeks, asparagus, peas, anything that reminds you of spring, you can probably throw in here. But rather than onions, we're using leeks. Ooh, dirty, dirty leek. So I'm actually just gonna quarter these lengthwise because they're a little bit big. And then I'm gonna slice them maybe a quarter inch to a half inch thick. Dirty leeks, leeks are dirty. You gotta get them in and clean them. No one wants little pieces of dirt and grit. Next up, we have our carrots. Peel and dice these quarter inch to half inch as well. All right, so some of these thicker ends I will quarter. If they're thinner, I'll just have them. Cut them up quarter inch to half inch pieces here. I might err on the side of a half inch. Okay, let's move over to the stove. Let's start melting our butter. You're gonna want a hefty amount. I'm gonna do, let's say five tablespoons. Why not? Okay, while that's melting, I'm gonna take the time to trim my chicken here. So I'm just trimming off any yucky tendons or fat or any of that. I'm gonna be using scissors because it's easier. Our butter is melted, so I'm gonna be adding my leeks now and my carrots. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, hey, what about that chicken? You don't have to brown it. It's not really going to add a whole bunch of flavor. Typically, you brown chicken, you get a bunch of flavorful browning. It doesn't really translate that much into the chicken pot pie, which is also why we're gonna be using some other tricks to get some good flavorful browning in. So again, I'm trimming up my chicken. I'm gonna cut them into about bite-sized pieces, about one inch. And once the leeks and carrots have softened, I'm gonna cook them over medium heat for five to seven minutes, maybe eight. 
No, I'm cutting the meat and look who shows up here. Look at this. Hey, pal. I know we're out ticking for you. Sweating these down, we're getting close. Meanwhile, we can prep the remaining of our ingredients. All right, I'd say four to five cloves of garlic. I'm using a whole bunch more because these are very small. So you want, let's say, almost two tablespoons of minced garlic here. Maybe a scant two tablespoons. All right, we're getting a little bit of brown in the bottom. That's fine. It is about time to add the rest of these ingredients. For the flour, you're gonna be adding about half a cup, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm also going to add my garlic, as well as a tablespoon of tomato paste. Now, don't worry, it might seem really dry. That's fine, we're gonna add some liquid to it, and don't forget, we're adding raw chicken, which is going to exude a lot of juice. So you want it pretty dry. I'm gonna stir it around, I'm gonna cook. I want the flour and tomato paste fully cooked. I want the garlic, aromatic. That's gonna take one to two minutes. Don't undercook this. Let's also season with a uh, teaspoon of salt here. That's kosher salt. All right, next up, it's been about two minutes now. I'm gonna be adding three cups of chicken broth. Don't put this away. You might need to add a little bit more later. It's gonna scrape up all the brown bits. I'm also gonna be adding about a quarter cup of heavy cream here. Now let's add, let's say about a teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce here. So about a half a tablespoon, teaspoon and a half. You don't want it tasting like Worcestershire sauce. You just want some savory notes that you're gonna get. I brought this up to a simmer. You can see it's starting to thicken up a bit. All right, just simmer that for a couple minutes. Make sure it's really tightened up. Flour's cooked, and then we're gonna stir in our chicken. Just gonna season up my chicken thighs with maybe a half teaspoon kosher salt. We're gonna season up the whole chicken pot pie later. We're gonna taste it to season. So right now I'm gonna stir all my chicken in. And while that's kind of simmering, I'm gonna take my egg, crack it, and beat it. All right, we got our simmer. I'm taking it off the heat. I'm just gonna take my egg, brush it on here, brush it all over. It's either gonna be amazing or it's gonna be a huge mistake. Now I'm gonna pop this on top, put it in the oven, 400 degrees, lower mid rack. You wanna cook it until the pie crust is done. And then if you need to continue cooking the chicken, take this off, let it cool, continue cooking the chicken. We'll hit that when we get there. It's gonna be 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to cut up our asparagus. All right, I got pencil thin asparagus, so this means I do not need to um, shave it. If you have really thick ones, I'd say even trim off the ends. I'm gonna cut maybe an inch and a half off here just to get any woody bits out of here. Small pieces, maybe inch, three quarters of an inch. We are so close, we're about a minute out. I haven't peaked. The only thing I did was about halfway through cooking, I rotated it. We lost a lot of definition, that's okay. But we got a gorgeous looking pie crust here. We got some flaky layers. From the looks of it, it looks cooked through. So our on in carbonite did not work out. That's fine, it'll be a nice topping. Now it's time, I got it back on the stove. It's hot, I am gonna turn it on a little bit. Medium low heat, I'm gonna stir in my asparagus and just cook until they are crunchy. Saucy, we got a good consistency here. Remember, we over tightened it beforehand, anticipating chicken thighs, releasing a little bit of liquid. A couple more minutes. This small asparagus doesn't really need a lot of time. Our asparagus is looking tender. Add your spring peas right now. They're gonna be delicious, frozen fresh. Throw them in, take it off the heat. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of lemon zest. It's gonna kind of brighten everything up, add a little bit of lemony goodness. I'll season it to taste with salt and pepper, but also a little bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna start with the teaspoon. I'm gonna taste it, adjust the seasoning. If it's too thick, you can always add a little extra broth. Hopefully it's not too thin. So let me give it a little taste here. All right, I'm gonna put in about half a teaspoon of salt. I don't need a lot. Let's get our topping on now. So if you did it the right way and you didn't try and get an imprint of Han trapped in carbonite, you just slide off the parchment or the tin foil or whatever you use and get it right on here. Here we go, we got our chicken pot pie. All right, obviously you wanna let this cool, it'll tighten up. So crack through the crust here. Let's go ahead and try this. Oh, it's nice and steamy. Mm, mm-hmm. 
carrot perfect consistency brings a little sweetness and then i got a lot of that vegetalness from the asparagus that's like spring it's a scream spring when you eat this and then that savory tender chicken pulls through i love using thighs here makes it a lot more meaty they cook up meltingly tender you don't need to worry about overcooking it crispy good consistency starting to absorb that sauciness and the leeks are there they're just way in the background we're going into spring right now we're not fully there you might have a nice cool day and this is perfect thanks everyone for tuning in this was a spring chicken pot pie don't forget that when you do it don't do what i did with the lid make sure that you invert the lid and you got it on the inside i tried to get the imprint it didn't work out oh well I tried, but I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitch, YouTube. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks so much. I hope to see you next time. Take care.